Hi, I'm Kendall Robert, and today we're going to do factoring by grouping. Now, some polynomials can be factored by grouping. It's a process where we look for monomials to pull out, and then we factor by grouping. It's a little hard to explain without doing an example. So let's look at this. Anytime you factor, you should automatically start looking for monomials you can factor out. And it doesn't look like other than one, of course. We can factor anything out of each of these terms. So let's just look at the x cubed x squared. x cubed plus x squared. Is there anything we can factor out there? If you said x squared, you're correct. We can factor out an x squared, and we're left with x plus 1. We can confirm that this is a correct factorization of this by going x squared times the quantity x plus 1 does get us back to x cubed plus x squared. At this point, let's look at the other two terms, x plus 1. Well, the only thing they share in common is the factor 1. So if we factored out a 1, we're just left with what we started with. But the good news is that each of these binomials match. And when that happens, you can use factoring by grouping. Here's how it works. Each of these, x squared and 1, is being multiplied by the binomial x plus 1. That means using the distributive property, we could rewrite this factored as x squared plus 1 times x plus 1. In this factored form, we still have x squared and 1 being multiplied by x plus 1, which is what we had up here. So the correct factorization of x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 is x squared plus 1 times x plus 1. And you could use FOIL to check and make sure you get back to this. Let's try another example. Over here, we have 4c cubed plus 8c squared minus 9c minus 18. Now, at first, I want to go, let's factor out a 2. But negative 9 is an odd number, so we can't factor out 2. We can't even factor out a c, because 18 doesn't have a c in it. So let's look at the first two terms. Well, those share a common factor of 4c squared. So if I factor out a 4c squared, I get 4c squared. I'd be left with c plus 2. And we can, of course, again, confirm that by saying 4c squared times c, and 4c squared plus 2 would get us back to 4c cubed plus 8c squared. Let's look at our other side. Negative 9c minus 18. Well, they share a negative 9 together. So negative 9, if we factor that out, we're left with c plus 2. And again, we have matching binomials. So using factoring by grouping, we could rewrite this as 4c squared minus 9. And that again is coming from each of those monomials, times c plus 2. Now, if we look at each of these, we have to check to see if they're completely factored. c plus 2 is, but this is a difference of squares. We could factor this as 2c plus 3 times 2c minus 3. So that's this binomial factor. And then we need to keep our original c plus 2. At this point, we have completely factored our original expression. 